Hey Gemini, what's up guys? I hope everybody is well. I hope you guys are good and taking care of yourselves. We are going to do a reading. Um, it's just gonna be general messages, but you know what? I'm feeling all of a sudden, it's crazy that they're showing me this deck. So we're gonna go ahead and use it because I feel like there's possibly a message in here for you, Gemini. This is the Spirit Animal Oracle, okay? All right guys, so let's go ahead and get into this. Um, if you're interested in this, go ahead and stick around. If you're new to this channel, Gemini, welcome. My name is Jessica. Please take a look at my description box because that's going to have all the information that you would need to know. And yes, this is a Gemini channel. However, if you vibe, you tribe. So stick around. Okay, we'd love to have you. And if you are returning, Gemini, welcome back. I hope you're well. Hope you're taking care of yourself. Hope you're doing what's best for you. Thank you for all the support and the love that you guys give. You guys are truly awesome and... I'm just so blessed to have you as this collective and just on this journey with me, okay? So thank you for all the support that y'all give. I love you guys. All right, let's go ahead and get into this, Gemini. Let's see what general messages Spirit has for you and why was I shown this deck? We have the giraffe. Well, that's one of my favorite animals, not necessarily a spirit animal for me, but is an animal that I do like, okay? Giraffe spirit. See the big picture, says Spirit. Spirit wants you to see the big picture. Number 29, I instantly got the message that you're almost there, you're almost done, you've almost manifested something, you've almost reached a conclusion here or something like that. Scarab Beetle, one of the best cards in the deck, magic works through you, this is a great omen, this talks about fortune, it talks about fame, recognition, abundance coming in, it talks about you being able to, again, manifest, right? And since 29 is really going to 30, I kind of get that energy of that with the three of manifesting. I feel like Spirit wants you to see the big picture in something. Spirit, I get the energy too of Spirit wanting you to see beyond all the bull crap too around you, all the drama, all the conflict, like you're above it with this draft energy. Everybody else might want to scurry along on the ground and get in these little petty conflicts and you know all that stuff but you see above all that, you're above all of it. There's a message there for somebody. You're above all the drama. You're above all the conflict. So you don't need to lower yourself. Like a giraffe is a giraffe. It can't lower itself to get along with the damn hippos, right? It just is what it is. Hippos get a different view than what a giraffe gets, okay? So the giraffe has to accept the view that it sees, okay? That's the energy I'm getting. You might not see things the same way that everybody else around you sees things. That's also what I'm getting, Gemini. And that spirit's asking you to see the big picture. The moth spirit, surrender now. <laughs> Number 39. <laughs> so we have 29, we have 39, right? There is this energy of something almost at a completion. Some, something almost complete. You're almost there. There is that energy. You've almost reached the end of this journey. You're just about to hear this news. This breakthrough is right around the corner. Like it's it's really that feeling, okay? And the moth spirit is asking you to surrender. What are we surrendering? We're surrendering an outcome. We're surrendering a desire for an outcome, first of all. But then we're surrendering what we desire to be the outcome, okay? We're, just, we're surrendering the energy of waiting because when you're waiting, you're showing that you don't have faith because you're not sure it's gonna show up. Don't wait for what you know is already on the way. I mean, yes, sometimes when you're waiting for a package from like, you know, Amazon or whatever, yeah, you'll sit there and you'll eagerly wait, but you won't wait from the whole time that that package is ordered to the moment it gets to your door. You don't sit there and wait by the door, you know, <laughs> like a damn dog with your wag your tail wagging, just like, <laughs> when's it coming? Is today the day? No, you just, you, you know, you have faith. And I know that's not the greatest example because you get a tracking number and you don't get no tracking number with spirit. I get it. But spirit is asking you to wait. Spirit saying your intuition is your tracking number. Like, you know, like you feel that you know something's on the horizon, you know something's changing, so trust that. The spirit wants you to surrender now. Surrender the outcome, surrender the need for results, surrender for an, ex an expectation that you might have of how something is supposed to work out. This is what I'm getting with this. I'm getting have faith, like big, big time, Gemini. There's an energy of you needing to have faith right now, okay, for whatever reason. What else do we have? I, I thought it was going to be 69, but no, it's 66, right? The white raven spirit, trust in the magic. So we saw the scarab beetle talking about magic, and then we see 
the white raven talking about magic. And isn't that crazy, Hollis, getting the energy to just have faith and look, trust, <laughs> trust in the magic, see the bigger picture, surrender now. I mean, I kind of already know what this message is saying, Gemini, right? Horse spirit, freedom is yours. And listen, 66, 33, we have a lot of duplicates, synchronicities. So if you see that in your life, that's a confirmation. Like you pass a sign and then you pass a sign again and you're like, whoa, did I, didn't I just see that? almost like a deja vu -y type of feeling, but it's not, it's real. That's the energy I'm getting, okay? That's a confirmation, it's a sign. So freedom is yours, but freedom from what? Freedom from the chains of your own mind because you're waiting, you're expecting, you're wondering, you're not having faith, you're doubting for some of you, right? So that's the freedom that you need here. The freedom to surrender, the freedom to see the bigger picture and trust that things are going to manifest exactly as they're supposed to manifest because in fact, they already are manifesting. You're all, they're already happening. Like it's already happening in the background, Gemini, okay? You just need to believe that. Look, butterfly talking about transformation, talking about change. And the transformation is beautiful. I mean, moths are great and there are some cool moths, guys. I, you know what I mean? I'm not saying I'm like a moth connoisseur or anything. I really, you know what I mean? But moths have some interesting patterns too. And they look pretty cool, like some of them, okay? So, when I say that everybody wants to be a butterfly, not really. Some of us actually would prefer to be a moth because some of their patterns are actually better than the butterfly patterns. But I feel like for you, there's the energy of, it's not necessarily an aesthetic, it's, uh, it's symbolic, right? Of going from the moth energy to this butterfly energy. A change for the better is the energy that I'm getting here. Transformation is beautiful, Gemini. Card number 11, okay? We just saw the 33, 66. Now we have the 11, double numbers, okay? So you've went through this cocoon period or this stage of stagnancy or where you weren't seeing something and now you're about to another nine, which is bringing us to the 10. Brown bear spirit, take a time out. See, all these cards that have like the nine attached to them are always gonna be talking about you almost being at the end of something. It's okay to rest. It's okay to like chill. It's okay to like, you know, and for some of you, if it, it depends, maybe needing to push yourself. But in this situation, I don't feel like that's what this is saying. Because sometimes, yes, nines can talk about pushing yourself. I don't feel like that's what this is. I feel like this is having the power, having the strength, the wisdom to know that things are working in your favor, Gemini. To know that it's just a matter of time, so why not just relax? All right, Gemini. What does Gemini need to see the big picture in regards to spirit? Let's get some clarity on this. What does Gemini need to see the big picture in regards to? Some of you might have really nice eyelashes, like naturally or, or not naturally. Either way, they look nice. They look natural is the energy I'm getting. Some of you might do lashes, okay? Or do makeup or something or tattoo, like tattoo artistry I'm getting or something like that. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting something with like fashion, aesthetics, design, tattoos, makeup, hair, okay, body art, perhaps, painting, painting bodies. All right, anyways, judgment. So what do you need to see the bigger picture in? The seven of Wands. Like, are you resisting things? Like, you know, is your own is your own perception kind of working against you right now? Do you have boundaries and barriers up where you don't really need to? Are you causing stagnation in your life because of this energy of refusing to move? Um, I do feel like there is this energy here of feeling like you are stuck or there is some kind of stagnancy that you're trying to find a way through, okay? Like swinging back and forth. I'm getting that energy, Gemini, very strongly. That you do have strong boundaries up, right? but you've also invested a lot of energy into something. I feel like you need to see the bigger picture. I feel like spirit's asking you to reflect here, to reflect on what you really do wanna put your energy into. With the lovers, there you are, Gemini, but I'm getting this energy of reflecting on what choices you wanna make. What do you want to be surrounded by, be represented by for some of you guys? Maybe you're trying to leave a label or something. I don't know. It's Queen of Wands with the Sun, Leo energy. We have Scorpio energy out here too. 
Um, so see the big picture that you're a star. You're meant to shine here. You're meant to have abundance in your future, new beginnings, prosperity, recognition, all that. For some of you, yes, you are meant to do something creative, right? Maybe art, like I said, tattoos or makeup or fashion. There's something here with an aesthetic. For some of you, maybe interior design or something like that, okay? Um, or even like if you are like in, you know, into cooking or into like being a chef or something, like maybe your plates are very colorful. They're very pretty. Like there's something about an aesthetic with what you do. You like it to look nice, not just be good quality in what it's bringing, but also you want it to represent a nice look. Okay. That's for some of you guys. I don't know. Anyways, but see the bigger picture here. The bigger picture is your motherfucking star Gemini. And maybe you haven't been feeling that way. Maybe you've been judging yourself a little bit too hard. Maybe you've been too harsh on yourself. You're not seeing that, you know, you're a star that you're doing the best that you can do. You know, you might have a lot of pressure on you to succeed, to overcome, to constantly play a role or to, you know, put out a certain kind of image. And it's like, you're a real person too. So you might be judging yourself really hard, feeling like you're not doing a very good job at whatever you're doing, but you are doing a good job. A lot of people see you as um, somebody who is very successful, somebody who's motivated, creative, one of a kind, innovative, right? I'm getting this energy of somebody who has brilliant ideas. People know you have ideas like that. People watch you to steal your ideas. Gemini, come on, right? So, you know, you have a lot of ideas. You have a lot that you, maybe you don't see within yourself. And that's why Spirit's asking you to see the bigger picture. Strength, Leo energy again. I feel like Spirit wants you to stand strong, reclaim your own power, create your version of happiness, and then work on that. Create the vision that you see for yourself. Because this Ten of Cups for me is like a nostalgic type of like... Either this is the feeling in the past that you had, or this is the feeling that you're nostalgic over that you want to have. Like, I want to have this happiness. I want to have all that. It's like, that's what this Ten of Cups is. Because there's two Ten of Cups in this deck. There's two Three of Cups. There's two Nine of Wands. So they all have different meanings. And this Ten of Cups, for me, is that that's what that is. It's like a, a happiness that you don't feel like you have, but you have the vision of it, right? Spirit's like, you can have that vision. You just need to work on it. And some of it might mean you need to be independent. You need to take, you know, an opportunity or for, you know, yourself to be an entrepreneur or you need to try something new or you need to go back to school. Like, it's something like that for some of you guys. This one wanting to come out and make a fuss. Yeah, the hangman, because there is this energy of stagnancy, but this is only because you need to see the bigger picture, which is exactly what the hangman talks about with this giraffe energy. The hangman talks about spirit kind of, hanging you up in a sense to give you a moment to have a different perspective see something from a different point of view which is exactly what the giraffe does the giraffe doesn't see the same picture everybody else sees doesn't see the same view that everybody else sees right so you know just saying surrender now what is there what uh gemini to surrender the need to know everything how did i know how did I know though, right? The need to know. The need to know how everything's gonna work out, the process, when, where, why, how. Like I was saying, surrender the outcome, surrender the results, surrender the expectations, surrender the time frame. For some of you, it's just simple as surrendering the who, what, when, where, why, right? Because the high priestess is the all knowing, she knows all. And this is what you're being asked to surrender the need to know all okay Gemini you can't sometimes you do have to trust which is what our next card is talking about trust in the magic trust in the journey trust in everything that you know to be true so far I'm not talking to I don't think right now people who have never seen anything come from any of this spiritual mumbo jumbo and they don't know like no I'm talking to a group of people like we know about manifesting we know about our spiritual journey we've seen the magic happen right in front of our eyes like we trust in this we believe in this this is not like we're on the fence about it we're not sure if spirit's real i don't know if i can manifest like no okay i'm not saying this channel is not for you if you're like that because of course all are welcome right but i'm more talking to a group of like you trust the journey already you trust spirit you trust your ancestors so that's all spirit's asking you to do right now is practice what you preach in a way or just trust right Flex the knowledge that you already know to be true. You already know that spirit has your back. Okay, then. Why wouldn't spirit have your back this time? Like, it's really that kind of energy. Okay? And I feel like this is a test. 
because spirit knows everything's gonna work out fine for you. Like I feel like spirit feels like you're a warrior. You're you are amazing. Like spirit's so happy with you, so pleased, and you're over here judging yourself. Like I don't think I'm doing enough. I don't think things are going right. I don't think I'm learning the lessons. Like <laughs> I'm sorry, but I just get that energy of like and you know. And spirit's really just wanting you to see something from a different perspective. See yourself from a different perspective. See your journey from a different perspective. And then also surrender. Surrender the need to know everything, Gemini. Some of you are psychic and you're not getting the intuitive downloads about this, like about whatever the situation is. Like for some reason, the, the well is dry. So you're on here watching other tarot readers trying to get the answers and all you're getting told is to trust the process. Spirit's like, <laughs> right? Gotcha, right? <laughs> oh man, that's funny. Anyways, um, yeah, but that's the energy I'm getting though, Gemini. Okay? Okay, White Raven Spirit, trust in the magic. Dance, magic, dance, magic, dance, magic. David Bowie coming through. Okay, we love David Bowie. Anyways, the chariot and the ten of pentacles, yeah. With the world, who? Wow, with the world on the bottom of the deck, guys. This is talking about major success. This is talking about major recognition coming in or this is talking about something massively paying off for you. Almost like, yes, like it is magic. Trust in the magic. Trust that the impossible is gonna happen. Trust that you are going to get that job, get that raise, get that promotion. Trust that your business is going to not only flourish, but honey, it's gonna turn into a damn chain, okay? Like a, like a, like a, like a Mackey's or something, like a McDonald's. Just trust, okay? Trust that this is all going to work out for you. Trust that where you're being led to go with this chariot energy, it's going to lead to this legacy, this 10 of Pentacles. Now, this is saying though with this chariot, you need to be balanced while you're moving forward because the chariot can't run if it's not balanced. It's gonna crash, right? The light and the dark pony have to be in unison to make the chariot go and all that. So with this energy, it's like, make sure that your light and your dark aspects are within balance too. You know, you don't want your ego to be so flying high that you can't come back to reality, but then you don't also want to be so low that you can't see the fucking greatness in yourself and you don't try. Like you have to have some kind of healthy balance here, Gemini. And that's what I'm getting with the chariot. Cancerian energy too. There's a lot of water energy here. Okay. Cancerian judgment. Uh, Scorpio and then the high priestess I, I usually get all the water signs and then I get Virgo then we have Leo of course <coughs> excuse me so yeah I'm getting that energy of like with the world especially you're going to be very successful in something and you need to trust the magic of the process okay um, trust that things are about to massively turn in your favor, guys. Nine of Pentacles, I mean, come on. Things are really about to turn in your favor, Gemini. You have like a massive amount of like, success or money, independence. For some of you, you are going to like literally be given a huge sign-on bonus or you're going to just blow up and, I don't know, maybe you invest some money in something and it comes back and you get like triple of what you even invested. Like, there's something about that. There's something about an investment paying off here. Trust the magic. I'm getting the energy of somebody who, like, bets it all or put it all on the line and then it comes back and with extra. And they're like, you know. But I wouldn't suggest doing that. I mean, to each their own. To each their own. Actually, I think we're going to use this deck to get some additional messages slash guidance gemini okay trust the magic mad uh dance magic dance that's the energy i keep hearing from david bowie i might put that on after this and clean the house i'm just saying because i'm getting that energy that magic is afoot it's about to happen for you in your life something miraculous almost is the energy of what i'm getting is about to happen so we have the goddess of psychic protection Wow, that is so freaking creepy that that card came out on top of that. That is literally everything that we have been talking about in this sentence. It says, what you believe, you create. No one can harm you. Goddess of psychic protection. So again, see the big picture, have strength, but also stop judging yourself so harshly. What reality you see for yourself is what you create. So you think that you're not up to snuff. Like I said, you're down on yourself. 
you're not going to try. You think you're better than everybody else, you don't need anybody else, and you got this and stuff, well then you'll never have anybody you can depend on in your life. Like, trust me, Gemini, you create your reality. Okay? So, goddess of psychic protection. This is also saying that you are you are protected. So, if somebody has, like, threatened you or tried to make you feel like they put something on you or they're going to do something, they're going to expose you, they're going to do this, whatever, Gemini, you're protected. What you create for yourself is the reality that you have, okay? Somebody could be out here fall, uh, throwing around idle threats, too, trying to make you feel some type of way. I'm just saying, that is for somebody. That's not for everybody, right we have the god of indulgence which goes on the bottom of the deck which is perfect for this energy because it's, it's it's all right stop beating yourself up a little indulgence and balance is healthy i'm kind of feeling like for some of you if that resonates that resonates right like it's okay to have fun it's okay to eat a little bit more it's okay to smoke a little bit more it's okay to have a little drink or something but if it's in balance if it becomes like it's a constant thing then you know that's not balanced right but for some of you you beat yourself up way too hard about that kind of stuff Okay, for others of you, it's just things in general. It's all right. Stop beating yourself up. I feel like that's the main message here. Like literally, guys. Okay. And then when I split the deck, I split the deck on angel of diet and nutrition. So for some of you guys, yeah, you may be falling off your diet or you've fallen off on some of your habits. You've been a little lush around here. I don't know, Mackie's lush. I must have some people from the UK watching me right now because I know that slang, right? My best friend is from the UK. The UK. Um, I just almost said the new K. Maybe there is going to be a new UK here soon. I don't know. But anyways, I'm getting this energy, though, of like, yeah, you are the one that creates your reality, Gemini. Goddess of oneness. Someone you love is thinking fondly of you at the moment. I feel like that's spirit. I ain't even going to lie. Not even going to hold you. For some of you, yeah. You know, there is this energy of, am I doing good at my job? Oh my God, I probably sound like an idiot. I probably fail every day. People are probably so disappointed in me. Like, and actually people look at you like, no, you're pretty good at your job. <laughs> like you do good. Like, you know what I mean? People are happy with you. They don't have any issues with you at all. Some people are looking at you for promotions, Gemini, or to move forward. And you're just being extremely critical of yourself. Like there's an extreme, like, you know what I mean? Like you're very, very critical of yourself right now. Okay. So this could just be a reassurance that people around you are not all looking at you, judging you like you're a piece of crap or a piece of garbage. Like genuinely, most people around you, genuinely and generally, they have positive feelings for you, okay? I, I feel like there's an energy of somebody out here who feels like the whole world really does hate them. I know how that feels. Sometimes I do feel that way, believe it or not. But I try not to let myself get stuck in that energy because I know that's not true, right? But if I believe that's true, then it is true. So you see what I'm saying here, okay? Now for some of you, yes, this is talking about your guides, your ancestors, with these roots, I always think of the ancestors, okay? So this is talking about that kind of energy. You have a lot of people thinking of you fondly, cheering you on from the other side. That's my chosen one. That's my baby, right? On the other side, like they're doing so well. I'm telling you, okay? So don't be hard on yourself. I feel like you're judging yourself harder than anybody, even your haters, if I'm gonna be one hundo. So goddess of the sacred path, let go of logic and trust your intuition, trust the magic. Wow, I really like how this reading has had so many fucking synchronicities in it. That is really cool, okay? Um, so yeah, let go of the logic and it might not feel logical how this all happens. Like if you get swept away into some kind of abundance or a new life or something like that, it might not feel logical, Gemini. Like it might come in very quickly and be like a whirlwind almost and drop you off where you're meant to be. That's literally what I'm getting with that whirlwind, okay? Um, but yeah, Spirit is asking you to like, let go of the logic, right? Trust the path, trust your intuition, trust the magic of it all. You have success, you have fortune, you have some kind of legacy coming your way, healing, stability. For some of you, this is wanting to heal from something, a mental illness or some kind of other illness. And you're like, this is going to be a long shot for me to heal from this, but trust. If you're feeding the negative, like if you're thinking about, oh, am I ever going to heal from this? And you're thinking about all the, how impossible that seems, how it's such a long shot, how you would need this, 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 this to heal. Like it's uphill battle. Like you're already kind of putting that vibe and that energy out there of the negativity of like, it's not going to happen. But if instead you think about the possibilities, 
go read the success stories of how other people have healed from this, right? Use that as your motivation, your inspiration. Like, look at all the things you can do that will really help you and look at it in a way of like, it's helping you, not in a way of, oh, I have to do all this, but no, these is, this is what I can do and it's gonna help me. Like, it's all about your mindset, Gemini. I'm telling you, okay? Anyways, I hope that helps. I hope it resonates. I hope it does something and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.